I'm Janice Merritt from JBM Think Sports Parenting, coach's wife for 28 years, soon to be 29 as my husband has gone back to coaching, and sports mom for 21. And I don't know if any of you have been watching any of the Little League World Series this past week. I think it's been fun to watch. But there's something that I noticed that I thought, hmm, that must be really hard. And that is when the coaches are mic'd up. Now let me explain why I think it's hard for them. As a coach's wife, and perhaps some of you as coaches, you understand that when you're coaching the game, you are fully into that game. You are, you are focusing on that game. You're not thinking about how your words sound or how they might be misunderstood or misconstrued by, by critical spectators or by the media or, you know, I mean, you know, imagine if you are on national TV, you're thinking about two things. You're thinking about the game and you're having to filter everything that comes out of your mouth. That to me seems like it would be a hard job. But that being aside, I think that sometimes in youth sports, there is a double standard. And let me explain what I mean by that. We as parents look out at those coaches and we expect those coaches to be a positive influence, to, to not be demeaning or derating or berating our kids, you know, making them, crushing their spirits to the ground. We want them to be a positive, challenging yes and pushing yes but a positive influence in those kids lives we don't want to hear the negative stuff coming out of their mouth and we don't want to hear it when they're mic'd up but what if you are mic'd up what if you are mic'd up in the stands or on the in the car ride home with your child gosh there's a double standard right there why should we expect more of our coaches and and when they're mic'd up or when they're not mic'd up why should we expect them to to be giving out positivity and 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 keeping a, a a positive influence on our kids when we're not putting that same standard on ourselves. We don't want our coaches to berate or crush the kids' spirit, but sometimes sports parents, we do the same thing. We crush our kids' spirits, maybe not intentionally, but we still do it. And so I, I fear that this is a double standard. We put all this pressure and blame the coach and expect the coach to be the one who is upholding and positive. But are we doing our part? Are we are we putting a standard on the coach that we're not putting on ourselves? So I kind of feel like we need to back off and, and be sure that we're not having a double standard here as sports parents, that we're expecting more of the coach than we expect of ourselves. We should never, ever expect more of that coach on the field than we do of ourselves as parents, as far as being positive and, and not crushing our child's spirit and encouraging them to do their best. So think about this, think about that this week. Think about that as you're watching the Little League World Series and enjoying that with your family. But remember, there should be no double standard in youth sports. We parents and coaches need to work together. Together, we have a standard of building up our kids and, and pushing them and making them better while encouraging them. Have a great week.